Hey there guys, Agent Brano here, welcome to episode 9 of my Conquering Red Tech series. Hope you're all enjoying yourself. I know I haven't been. <laughs> right, okay, so for the last two ha hours I've been trying to record. And I'm going to tell you, it hasn't gone so well. First, I tried to put sewers, which collect sewage. And then make me industrial fertilizer, which I was going to use with the... The plan was, I'll use it with the wheat farm. I... Yeah. The plan was, I'll use it with the wheat farm. Um, because I can use it in a... Uh, basically, another boiler. Another type of boiler, like from what we used last episode. And that didn't go so well. So. What we're going to do is make something a little bit of our, out of my comfort zone which we were going to make anyway but i don't know the problem is i wanted sewage off the skeletons so i want to make a a separate farm and it's going to look a bit ugly at the moment what i'll do is I'll build the prototype now in the episode and then after the episode I'll go up, I'll go up and I'll sort it. Now you can see all these sewers I made a lot. I made that many <sighs> I made that many basically because what I was doing is I had the whole floor of the skeleton farm all done. So, yeah, I have, what am I doing, I have a lot of mob end, a, a lot of mob essence that can be collected from the skeleton farm. And the easiest way I can think of it is getting a safari net, catching a skeleton, creeper, uh, well no we don't need creepers because we have gunpowder already. I mean, we could catch, I mean, we could catch a witch. I'm not sure if they give you sewage, but it's worth a try. Um, so, the idea is, we have, there's, there's going to be too many, there's going to be too many sewers in this, because I built way too much. But this is the idea. All this is going to have to come out below anyway so this is the idea we have the sewers and then we have an auto spawner now don't worry mobs can't spawn on bedrock or else this would be packed well yeah it would be packed under here um so here we have oh we have more boat we have more sewers there are a lot of sewers in this build <laughs> okay, and this is where the auto spawner goes. Now, what we're going to do is under here, the, the slabs I've just collected, I'm going to put back down just in case the auto spawner does try to spawn them in down here. It shouldn't be able to spawn anywhere else except from on the sewer blocks that's my thought so you can see the basic pattern now what I have to do here is I have to provide provide the auto spawner with a let's say a copy of something I want to make this a bit higher too yeah I have to, pro I have to provide the auto spawner with a copy of something so, what I'm going to do is, we'll get the mo what mob hasn't sorted now, we'll get it all plumbed in. So, we have a little hatch here that we can get into, uh, just about. Okay, so this should be, yeah, this is our auto spawning. So, f from here, we have to enter our liquid which is the mob, mob essence how are we going to do that 
I mean, Enderman would be cool, but no, the grinder wouldn't kill him. I mean, we could spawn him inside the glass box with the grinder. Yeah, we could have a mini ender farm. We could put... I'm not sure if this is going to work. I'm going to have to test that. I'm going to have to test that because then we'll have a shed load of ender pools and then we can have unlimited iron and everything again. Right, so I'm getting off track. <laughs> we'll put this A stuff in here. We don't need that. We Do we need to provide power to that guy? Now, that's a question. We don't need the sewers. We need the grinder. We need the liquid tesseract to transfer the mob essence to that. Or I can just run it down the ground. How far is it away? Yeah, we'll run it down the ground. I'm not I'm not gonna bother trying be neat. Okay. So this green gooey stuff is so called mop mob essence. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to come down from here, hit this guy, hit this guy, and can I get out? Yeah, and I want to connect these guys up. Okay, and you're connected. And then we'll run this pipe down and to our platform and is this this is the uh, yeah so it's this block does it need power yes it does <sighs> so we'll get rid of this this block here we we'll place a conduit like that Liquid dot uh, no this can't be ripped out. Okay, okay, so liquid dot's gonna come along this flooring because I've got to I've got an energy test right. Right, I've got provided power, but then I'm after sewage as well so damn let me out so i've also got to get the sewage from it from the liquid duct so i've got to not let that liquid duct connect up so item tesseract for now for now i'll build one out, out uh, off episode for now i'm going to take this Okay, because I'm not really, I mean, I aren't too bothered about the tree farm running all the time. Because I, I know I have plenty of power now. And have bulks and bulks and bulks of saplings to last me. So, we're going to put this, <sighs> it's a liquid test rack, dum dum. Was it? Shouldn't be a liquid tesseract. Oh, it is a liquid tesseract. Oh, God. Where's my energy tesseract, son? Because I got a quality turned off, so I should have one spare. Sludge. Sand only. Right, let's go back up here. I think this is what we're going to be doing for this episode because I don't spider spawn in there. I don't want to make this any longer. If I haven't got a tesseract, I'll pause and come back. I might have. Yeah, there we go. I have tesseracts. Is this liquid? Why have I got so many liquid? Um. Ah, this will do. And 
I need a what was it called? Safari net single use. No, it was this one reusable. So gas here. <sighs> right, I'm gonna go to the navy. I'll get the stuff prepared, and then I'll be right back. For fuck's sake! <laughs> hey, gas. Right, back in a sec. Found one. There we go. Whoa! Come on, we can fly. Oh my god! Gas to you, where? Yes! Suck it! <laughs> you got that on the first try, guys. You know why I'm so scared of the Navit? Because if you watch episode. Uh, after episode 1, when I come to the Navit. I was I was recording episode two, and I wanted to just get some blaze rods, and I ended up dying to one while in midair in combat, and it wasn't nice. So we have that now. Just thought I'd show as soon as I was just flying around for about five ten minutes there. As soon as one spawned, I thought I'd just show you straight away. Right, let's go down here then. And it was a gas tier surrounding summit. <laughs> right. So gas tier surrounding and pearls. Okay. Now I'm not sure if we can do Enderman. Because well we probably could. We probably could. But I'm not. I'm not a hundred percent. I mean, we could go for a string farm. I mean, I suppose we could go for a string farm. A spider there. Um. Let's see what's over here for grabs. Anything? Come on. Zombie. Zombie creeper. Oh my fucking dies. That's when I was mining for. Come on, follow me then. You dumb. Oh, did you see that? Tackle two birds on stone. You dead. Dead. Right, let's get rid of these zombies. I want you, skeleton. Right. You can come with me. No! No! I knew I heard something land behind me. I keep hearing a slime too. Um, ow! I want a spider. Ow! Ow! Oh, ow! 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 Come on. Let's go this way then. God, it would be so hard to just get a freaking spider. Of all things. I mean, there's a skeleton spawn in there, but I don't want skeletons because I know skeletons don't work. Hang on, is it going to have to be an animal? Yeah, it's going to have to be an animal, isn't it? <gasps> that sheep outside. Then we can have a wolf farm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's what we love. Yeah. Yeah, because if skeletons don't work, then why am I thinking that endermen are going to work? I mean, I suppose endermen do do big shit, but... Right, where's... Right, we got that there. 
Yeah, we'll do we'll do sheep. We'll do sheep because we need wool. Not with me, you. So the the believing says is that obviously these don't naturally spawn on anything other than grass, I suppose. So me believing says me believing say I, b I believe that it's only uh, hostile mobs that give sewage. So, if not, and we can do endermen, uh, I actually might have to just test it myself. Then we'll do that. So we're going to say spawn exact copy. Uh, we're going to say yes. It. Uh, no, actually, we're going to say no. But I'll have to go make an extra disk drive uh, after episode because. Oh, shine a light! Don't want you connecting. Right, is this energy? And then biopower, sand receive. Okay, you. When. Come on. When I connect this. Should receive mob essence. Now, if we come uh, up, up, there we go. We, this should spawn stuff. Is this getting power? No. Because I haven't flipped it around. So, flip it around, get it power. Okay, I mean we don't have to kill these. We don't have to kill them. We can let them stack up, but it'll probably sp right. We need to see if this is working. Yes, yes, it's working. So the next thing we do is we get the grinder and we place the grinder the wrong way around. Now we place the grinder like this. We feed it power. Um, so I'm trying not to disturb this here so we feed this power right okay so have I put this on no and then we need to change this so let me come up okay and then Someone put this in the comments. I can put an interface. I knew about that, but uh, chests are cheaper. That's why I didn't do an interface before in one of my tutorials. So if we put interface, we can interface into that. But then, oh no, no. Can we... Oh, I don't mind, we don't even need the interface. We'll just item tesseract it. We don't need that. And then we'll do this. Item tesseract. We'll have it on send only. So that will now pump it items straight into that so now we have a wolf arm okay looks like we're getting a lot of different colors so my system is going to flop soon so now we need to sort out the sewage which shouldn't be that hard wow that's full 
Okay, this is going good. So we got a sewage farm and a sheep farm this episode. Click that, click that, click that. Click you and a you. Oh no. No. And a you and a you. And then we'll bring the liquid looks again. Connect, connect. And then same over this side. Cause we need to get all these connecting. That way it flows a lot better. So one there, one there, one here, here and here. So this is all the poo, the sheep poo now. Okay. Can I can't see Yep. And then we just need connect this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy. And then we gotta connect up, connect up, connect up, and then we can do something like that to a liquid tesseract and we can send only. There we go. Okay. Finish off this build. Now, it doesn't look the prettiest, but it works. So, to me, that's a success. I think it's fairly compact. It probably could be... I mean, I'd like it a bit quicker. I'd like it spawning these quicker, so... I don't know. Maybe... Maybe I invest in another two of these. But I need to see... Because we need now... A... Oh, damn. I was using that for over there. Uh, let me see what we can do. Okay. Put this stuff in here. That, that, and that. We might need an iron pack. Because up here, when I was recording before, I spent like half an hour recording. And it was just, I watched it back and I was like, nah. I'm not even going to put that for an episode. It's not worth it. No one's going to enjoy it. So, yeah. Shit. Right, we need, we need an iron pipe. Sure, right, I see a creeper on the map and I don't know where it is. Okay, so two iron pipes. I think beef. My A system is going to clog up, so I'm going to have to create another two 16k storage drives. And I'm that creeper's freaking me out. And then I'm going to do this red rock while I'm rendering the video around. I'll try and get most of it done, but I've got to go to bed and it's 5 o'clock in the morning again. Right, so if we just rip this off. Rip this off. Alright, alright! Leave me alone. So now we put this here. And that there. And that. Fuck off! And that should complete that. So. You saw my tree farm tutorial. Now I'm wondering. If we go behind here. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Get out the system drones. Damn, 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 damn. 
Dum 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 Bread, don't need bread in the system. So all that wool's going in the system now. We're going to have just bone meal in the system. Can we'll get let's get rid of this bone meal here. So I'm gonna have to do a clean up on my AE, but what I want you to do uh, next episode is what, what did I want work on now? I think I'll, I'll get it in a minute. So that is way too far out. So okay, we know that now. So we could drop the AE system we could actually connect all this up to the AE system pretty easy but that's nice and compact that's working I could get this so I could just yeah I think I'm gonna get this preferred prepared outer episode so we don't need this here come on place so this will be like this then your pipe will come to here and then we'll connect so we'll pull it down to this wall and then we'll just like Feather it straight down behind the wall here, and then we'll automate that farm so I don't have this happening. Well, I normally have bone meal everywhere, and then I have to. Damn you! Sorry, guys, and then I have to do that, and it's kind of a pain in the arse. You know what? tree farm you can stop until next episode oh there's a deleting snot slime over there let's go and see here how much wool we have and how much industrial fertilizer we have if the system's coping because i want to be able to chuck junk in this system whenever i want to but it's kind of stopping me because i haven't got the storage buses being used and there's things I need to be getting used. I need apples being processed. I could... Mm, I mean, saplings are fine. I need to get rid of this, these oak logs. Uh, rubber wood needs to be processed. There's clay in the system now. There's loads of sand. There's loads of things in here that probably still need... To, there's loads of wool already. There's loads of quicksand, crack sand, rubber bars, blaze rods, zinc, emeralds, neverrack, aluminum dust, which probably needs to be something done with with Greg Tech. Soil sand, there's there's heat sand, tainted soil, mycelium. Yeah, there's just random things all in the AE system. There's free iridium, which is pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, well. We need to get that, that system sorted, definitely. So, I'm going to call that an episode. Hopefully, you've enjoyed. We've Today, we've got the mob essence sorted. So, we have the mob essence sorted, which is going into a sheep farm, which is creating... Um, what was it creating now? Industrial fertilizer? Oh. Um... So we have like more of that. So maybe after episode, I just like add like an extra three or four of them mob spawners because then we'll have an unlimited supply of wool. You basically unlimited wool now, and we'll have 
We'll gain sewage off them. Plus we... Oh, I haven't put a... I need a Tesseract on there to... Uh, I mean, I could pull the mob essence round and put it back in. No, it's not even worth it. I'm just going to leave it in the machine. Yeah. Okay, guys. We'll leave that for today. I'll try and get this place cleaned up a little bit tomorrow. And, uh, yeah. If you've enjoyed it, guys, and you want to see more from me, click the subscribe button. I'm sorry it's been a bit of a long-winded episode. Didn't intend it to be that way. But I think we're making good progress on this, guys. And, uh, yeah. I'll see you in the next video.